everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm giving you a Kells Tales freebie. If you want any of my tips and tricks and things to do for when you're interested in joining an organization, you may want to check out my intake prep course. But I thought I'd give you guys a little taste, a little, a little preview of some of the information that I provide in my course for those of you who are interested. This one I think is going to be a really good one. I think it's going to grab your attention. It is things that I recommend doing to impress your interviewer for intake. So if you're interested, keep watching this video. One of my main tips is to dress the part. When dressing the part, you want to dress professionally. Whatever they recommend you wear for your interview, make sure you are wearing that. Steer clear of colors. You guys can watch my video about that. But whatever they ask you to wear, make sure you do it and look your absolute best. Dress professionally, treat it like you would a job interview. And I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately because it is true. When you want to join an organization, the organization is called so and so sorority fraternity comma what incorporated incorporated means what business so treat it like an organization treat it like a professional business because at the end of the day that is also what it is another thing that i want you guys to make sure that you're doing is to be on time and when i say be on time be early be at least 10 minutes early to be early is to be on time to be on time is to be late Another thing that you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to is making sure that your body language is on point. Make sure you sit up straight. Make sure you're not fidgeting. I understand nerves can get to us sometimes. One thing that I like to do when I'm nervous, especially if I'm sitting at a desk and my hands are underneath the desk, I will sit with a paper clip in my hand and just kinda of twirl the paper clip in my hand. You can't really see, you see right now I'm fidgeting with my hands, can't really tell. I'm doing all kinds of things down here. You can't see it. Underneath the desk, it really works out. If you're on top of the desk, I can't really help you. But paper clip, under your desk, fidget away. Another thing that I recommend doing is your research. Make sure that you do your research. Know about the organization, know about the chapter members, know about their leadership. It's the best way to help you out. My other big, big, big piece of advice is to pay attention, listen, articulate your words, make sure you are pausing. Try to avoid verbal pauses. I know that I say um a lot and that's because a lot of the stuff I do from the fly, I'm not really writing these things down for the most part, but try to avoid verbal pauses to where you're not being caught up saying um a lot. If you feel the need, to pause and think about your words do what I just said pause and think about what you're going to say before you say it and that will usually prevent you from having verbal pauses in the midst of your conversation also think about the question before you answer the question sometimes you'll hear the question and you're so ready to answer it that we tend to we tend to run on a tangent or a kind of like rant around a little bit don't do that Try to take a moment and think about the question before you answer it and then provide your answer. It is your session, it is your meeting. I love when people use the full amount of time for their interview. If you are there for a 30 minute interview and you only use 10 minutes of it, do you really think they're gonna know that much about you if you're just sitting there answering the questions and just moving forward? No, take that time to showcase who you are and answer the questions with very well thought out answers rather than just answering the question. In regards to questions, I also recommend that you ask informed questions at the end of your meeting. If you wanna know more about the kind of questions you can ask, check out my video on questions that you can ask. I have videos on my YouTube channel, but I also have some very specific ones in my course that I recommend that you purchase. Purchase the deluxe if you want those, not the basic. The basic is what it is, it's basic. Deluxe gives you all kinds of little tips and tricks and things that you would not normally see in the basic course. So make sure you read the lesson plan so that you know the difference between the two. There are lessons that explain what each of my courses offer. So make sure you read that before you click purchase. In addition to that, I want you guys to ask questions and thank them for their time. At the end, we appreciate those people who are very sincere and genuine in their interviews. So make sure you do that. That pretty much wraps up my tips and tricks for how to impress your interviewers. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have questions, you're more than welcome to reach out. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.